Boom! <laughs> oh, we got booms tonight, folks. Get ready to get cray cray. This is Jason J. Boom Legard, and I am chillaxing and inspiring people tonight with a little Google Hangout time with two of the co-founders of ION, and that is Internet Lifestyle Network. If you don't know, and if you don't, you should. Um, and this is uh, we got Ashley and Clifton Hatfield. And first off, gratitude, you guys taking time tonight after the kitties are in bed to uh, chat us up tonight. We're excited to be here. Absolutely, man. Oh, for sure, for sure. And as you guys saw from the title, I became a little term for the this dynamic duo. They're tech sexy, <laughs> and it's very obvious who the sexy is, because Clifton is a good-looking man. Just, hey, look, he's got the you know that glass. They got the glasses, you know that kind of GQ. I'm 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 studious, but you know I'm also you know. So I mean, Ashley, you're all right too. You're all okay. right. Thank you. But where's the hat? Where where'd the hat go? There. See. Ah, but you gotta tilt it. You gotta tilt it. There, see. see now she's got it. Yeah, that's sexy. Yeah. 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 All right. So, as you can tell. Uh, I want to have I want to have a lot of fun tonight too. We want to we want to get you guys pumped about what's going on within our family of Internet Lifestyle Network, and uh, just share the, the vision of what you know these two co-founders, along uh, Vincent Ortega Jr. and Mark Hoverson, and what they've got going on here, and what I've become a part of, uh, which has just been redonkulous, and just so I mean every type of boom adjective I could throw on it. That's what I like to do tonight. Um, so I guess the first thing off, uh, you know, start off with something a little different uh, to each of you. What is your best music, your favorite music that you guys use to get in your creative grooves, as far as uh, as far as working on your working on your stuff? Oh gosh, that's a great question. Um, I'll, I'll let her answer that first. Okay, so I either listen to. I know this is crazy, but I either listen to Christian music or hip-hop, or sometimes I'll mix them up. Like, I'll have a Christian jam, and then I'll have a hip-hop jam, and I really like Third Day. Like, they really get me, like, in the groove, or some level, baby level, baby level. Oh, yeah. Oh, how did I know that was going to pop up? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that, that's pretty my choice. Very cool. Well, um... Actually, nobody's ever asked me that before, so Jason Bob's on that question. Too. <laughs> um, I just um, typically, well, sometimes I work in silence, but a lot of times I will have music playing. I almost always have a movie playing, no matter what, any time of the day. Um, so even when I have a movie playing, I um, I will still have my headphones on listening to music. It's just I, I have a lot of that a lot of that going on. It helps me actually focus even more when I've got other distractions kind of going on behind me, just, you know, kind of ambient distractions going on behind me. But as far as music, what I listen to is, um, I listen to a lot of hip-hop um, to keep me upbeat, you know, keep me moving forward. But I also listen to, listen to a lot of classical, but I really listen to a lot of um, movie, movie soundtracks while I'm working. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I, well, I put on uh, Pandora. And uh, I'll do like epic soundtracks. There's a channel on there for epic soundtracks, and it does a lot of like Gladiator and um, uh, Star Trek. A lot of just like really inspiring uh, movie soundtracks. So that's a really cool question, I, and uh, that's that's typically what I listen to when I'm when I'm programming. Right on. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? No. Uh, Cash, our five-year-old, he just stepped into our office. He's supposed, to, he's supposed to be in bed, but he probably... I was going to say, hold on now. I know we're going on. Come over here and say hi. Oh, Where's little man? Typically, he likes to get in front of the camera when we're doing these, or at least poke his head on someone. <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's like, I got stuff to do. Um, well, I, I, that's why I want to throw something out a little different, you know, because uh, part of what I wanted to do tonight for folks out there who have not had the chance to meet and hang out with Clifton and Ashley, uh, I want to show you why I feel 
they're so much different than a lot of other programmers or, or graphic, I guess, designers. Uh, hopefully I got that right, Ashley, for what you do. And uh, because I, I feel you guys put something behind the technology uh, that is much different. So uh, the next question I have for you guys was what, uh, what drew you both, you know, for Ashley, for you, the, the working with graphics and design, and for you, Clifton, with the programming end of things, I mean, what, what drew you guys to that, to, to, to pursue this as, like, this is what I want to do, you know, as my way of life? Well, actually, um, I think I've told my story a few times. But I was, when ILN started to come alive and the idea started to come alive, I was actually working for a local government as a web designer, and I had been there, this November would have been five years. And I maintained and helped build probably like 35 websites, like the sheriff's office, the office office, very uh, traditional style websites, where I feel like, I felt like I could be very creative and there were sure. how it's supposed to look. Um, so I was doing that for this number, like I said, we've been going on five years. Um, and actually, I kind of got lucky getting that job. My mother-in-law worked for the auditor's office, so she was kind of my in <laughs> there at the county. But I learned a lot while I was there. And actually, a lot of my credit goes to him. He Clifton actually went to school for web design, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. And he taught me, you know, the basics, and I just, I loved it. It wasn't what I went to school for. I actually went to school for radiology, and I hated it. I actually ended up dropping out and quitting. I had no passion. I don't know why I even started it, but I did. And, you know, he showed me what he was doing, and I kind of picked up on that. And I kind of dabbled with web development as well. I didn't like that as much, but I was kind of forced to do it at my job. But the web design was really, really what was meant to me. I loved it. And um, it started to evolve. I felt like that was my path to really be creative. Like it was my ticket to creativity. So that was one thing. Right. It was actually, I wasn't even supposed to be the graphic designer for it. I think that somebody else lined up, it fell through. And so and I was like, hey, you start doing graphics. Like, sure, bring them on. So, yep. and it's wow. just turned into what it has. And I am so thankful and so grateful. And I no longer work for the company. I was able to leave the job in this whole time. And I feel so blessed. I tell him every day, like, I feel like I'm living the dream life. I, yeah. I really do. I love what I do. I love the people that I'm working with. It's just... I feel so blessed right now. So right. that's how that's how I started. <laughs> nice, nice, nice transition there. That's not too shabby. Clifton, yeah. what about you, brother? I know part of your story, but what what drew you to it? I guess. Yeah, well, um, well, I was in the military for six years, and uh, I before then, I um, really, I. It didn't even know much about computers. I thought they were really cool and fun, but uh, never saw my future in them. And uh, I got deployed to Kosovo, and I spent a year in Kosovo. Before I went out there, um, I bought a laptop. When I was out there, I started reading about uh, programming and web development. And it was just something like, I don't know if, if, uh, if, if you've ever, like, just done something and you just fell head over heels for it, and you're just like, I love this. i got to do it all the time. You know, some people it's reading. Some people it's sports. Some people it's video games. Um, you know, it's different activities, but for me, it was actually programming, and it was it worked out too because it's something I love and it's something I can make money from. So um, I started doing that while I was overseas. I started read, just reading about it. Uh, we had a very, a very spotty internet connection when I was while I was over there, uh, as you can imagine. And uh, so I just did more reading and I just learned more about it. And then when I came back, um, when I came back from, from Kosovo, uh, I picked up a job uh, working for a, um, an internet startup company. And uh, really, just kind of learned a lot from some of the programmers that have been. These guys have been doing it since they were in junior high. So I was able to pick up a lot from them. But but I was so obsessed with it that I just was constantly in front of my computer, learning and reading, reading, reading books about programming and everything. And I just, like I said, I just fell head over heels for it. And because I've been doing it, and that was that was ten years ago. And because I was doing it so much and all the time and constantly that I just I was able to really really learn it 
I, like she said, I actually went to school for uh, for graphic design, and I I realized that that's not what I really wanted. It wasn't the graphic designing, the web designing end of it that I really really liked. It was actually the programming, the coding that that I that I actually loved doing. So. Um, so I kind of stepped away from that and just really learned more about the programming, the techniques, and uh, learning the languages, and then just kind of ran with it. Uh, and just have I've built a lot of websites. I mean, hundreds, probably thousands of websites. Some of them with um, you know hundreds of thousands of uh, users, millions of visitors, and some just really big networks. And then just over time, I got involved with blogs and um, um, been building blogs and blogging for the last uh, several years and you know and, and then um, Vince and I partnered up on a, on, a, on a vision and idea and then uh, created ILN and just rolled with it it's been uh, just more than a blessing since Wow, wow I mean that's just so to me what's so kind of freaky <clears throat> about uh, how all these you know coincidences mm -hmm. lined up you know, I mean, I mean, I actually, you know, kind of knew you guys. Uh, We're all island. Yeah. Yeah, you know, from other things and through Marisa Westerman. Yeah. You know, so it was, uh, you know, kind of. Then it was like quite a ways, yeah, quite a ways later, and all of a sudden, like, oh, they're in this island thing. You know, that's that's interesting. Um, and actually, I just got a message from folks. I guess I invited people to be on the the hangout itself. So hopefully, everything is going okay, <laughs> technology-wise. Uh, Jeremy just gave me. I guess that was not the right code. Um, that was not the right link. <laughs> yeah, I thought that would be the link to get people on the hangout with us and not to watch it. So that's all right. We'll work through whatever happens. We'll see. So I hit record, so everything should. Well, they'll have something. I'm hoping. Good. Um, so let me get to the next thing I want to ask you guys. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, so far, like for each of you, and, and this could be ILN, it could be something maybe before, uh, what was the, the project you had the most enjoyment or, or like the biggest payoff, you know, once it was complete? Like something, you know, it could have been an emotional payoff for like a specific client or, or maybe just a big challenge project, you know, I'm obviously launching ILN would, would qualify for that, but uh, just something along those lines maybe that you would just, you got down your like like that was the one. I remember, well, something that comes to my mind immediately was, you know, I do all these graphics for everyone, and there was, I won't say names, but there was one member in particular. Um, this person, I did, like, mock-up after mock-up. I was, like, beating myself up over this, so I wanted it to be so good, and I wasn't sure what he would think of it, and I finally sent it to him, and I think it took him a while to reply back, but his, when he did reply, he told me that he was literally in tears when he saw it. And that was just such a touching moment for me to know that, you know, when I do graphics for somebody, it's not just I'm making something on their website, I'm making their website look pretty. It's, there's lots of emotion involved in this, you know, because I learned so much about a person, what they're passionate about, what they love. I deal a lot with their families, you know, because they send me personal yeah, yeah. photos, and they want to tie that all in into their design. So that was, that moment always stands out to me. I think that was probably the first emotional moment during this whole ILN process, dealing with people and their graphics. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. I, that's, that's a moment I'll never forget. I can't even describe how I felt when I saw that. I was in tears myself when I was reading it. I had to read it over and wow. over and over. So it was just, it was like that awe moment. Like, wow, I'm doing what I'm meant to do. Meant to do, yeah. Yeah, it was just, wow. oh, it was amazing. It was cool. Very cool. Well, what you left in? Well, mine's easy. Uh, ILN, hands down. Um, <laughs> I've done a lot of projects. Like I said, um, I've built a lot of websites, and all of them, you know, all of them have been rewarding, rewarding in their, their own um, separate ways. But ILN mm -hmm. is more isn't necessarily like a job or a, um, it's not really like a job or a project, it's more of a dream, it's more of a vision. And yeah, it's, it's I, I, I talked, I touched a little bit about it, I think when we were in Phoenix, maybe even when I was talking to you, but you know, over the last 10 years, I've built a lot of websites and those websites have always been a, um, you know, a website visitor relationship where I build a website, you come, you visit, you, you know, 
um, read the content, watch the videos, just or whatever, and then you you know you leave. It's no, no big deal. Yeah. Um, but with ILN and the, the fact that we've built an entire community behind it is it's people have developed almost a relationship with the company itself, not just and, and, and what I mean by that is with the company itself, but also like with other people that are inside the community. Mm -hmm. So rather than a, a person going to a website, visiting the website, and then leaving, going about the day, with ILN, they're coming to the website and they're engaging with other visitors of the website or members yeah, yeah. of the website and they're growing relationships. I mean, people are meeting in other countries for the first time, um, you know, hanging out, doing webinars together. It's just this whole, like, like vision that's all coming together. This really dream of mine is to have built something that I've written and just built and coded that people are using to build businesses, build relationships, build success, earn incomes online and everything. So that's just more than fulfilling. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really exciting just to think about where we've come just in the last, just literally a few months. I was going to say, <laughs> June, late June. Yeah, just in the last few oh. months, and where we're going to be in, uh, you know, six months, 12 months from now, not just, not just as a company, but as, um, you know, as a community and as individuals as well, as seeing the success of each one of those people just, just you know, go through the roof, just lives being changed. So... I mean, there's just so much more into it than anything else that I've done. That's on, you know, it's just all on a whole other higher level. So that's by far, hands down, the most rewarding. Yeah, actually, yeah, you got a, you grabbed and gave it a great answer for one of my later questions, Clifton, about what you guys, you know, look are looking, you know, as far as the vision of what's what internet lifestyle is, you know, becoming already. And and like you said, you know, a few short months. Uh, I mean, I can testify to this. Uh, you know, being at the first event in Tempe, and, and Clifton, you and I talked about it at kind of like the end of the event. I was like, well, the last nights, and uh, we were enjoying some beverages. You know, we're relaxing yeah. a little bit, and uh, we had discussed how, like, when the the VIP bus broke down, and yeah. we're uh, hell hanging out outside the pizza place, and how there was all like you said, there wasn't one person that was off to the side by themselves. There were these little these little groups of people, and they're joking and laughing and telling stories and sharing insights and just yep. laughing their butts off. And you said, and I remember you said to me, "This is exactly what we wanted to have happen." Yeah, we wanted basically to your masterminds broke out. I mean, yeah, I did a situation where all right, we were supposed to be out just just having a great time. That was a time for the community, for the VIPs, everybody just. Get on the bus. We were going to party and just have fun and just yeah. take that take that experience and share that experience with each other. And then the bus broke down, which was a terrible experience. But yeah. what happened was something that we couldn't have even you know prayed for because what happened yeah. was the bus broke down and then literally all these little mastermind groups out of what 50 people that were there, yeah. all these little mastermind groups kind of broke out and everybody just started having their own little masterminds and discussions and you know and 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 every you know and everybody was probably feeling pretty good so. They were probably oh, yeah. getting their hearts out, you know, a lot of their emotions. So it was really, really awesome. And then when it when the bus when the other buses came to pick us up, you know, everybody was just like, "Wow, that was awesome!" And they got yeah. back on the bus and we headed back to the hotel. So yeah. that was really powerful. Yeah, no, that's so that's you know definitely the like you said the vision of, of what we're all building. You know, I, I like you. I like what you said. Where. and I think that's what's setting it apart as far as just uh, you know it's not just a blogging system. You know, where like like you said, someone visits and goes, "Oh, that's cool." Well, yeah, I'll get that, and you know, off they go. It's like, no, they're, you know, they're connecting, you know, with other people. You know, like you talked about other countries. You know, we got Julia Forrester that comes from Australia. You know, we got Fraser coming from Scotland. I mean, on the first event, like right out the gate, there's people making that investment of money, time, yeah. effort, sacrifice, because they, I think, all of us felt like. There's something unique that's happening here, that's that's showing people like here. Here's a here's a way to do business online, but infuse it with with spirituality, with a, a heart that beats so loud and big for every single one involved, because there's there's such a connection between every single person in the community to yeah, lift the next one up. You know, like our, our Facebook groups ridiculous. You know, you can't even keep up with it. No. <laughs> yeah. Go go go. You know. Um. Let's see here. Blah blah blah. 
And I'm having a little trouble on my end on the, the technical side with my screens because I want to do some screen shares. Uh, so I, I might not be able to do that. But uh, how about we just kind of talk about because the big thing we just had recently, of course, uh, with you guys was the release of the Apprentice blogs. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's just. You know, yeah, they're amazing. You know, the, yeah, raise the roof, the roof's on fire. The house burnt down. I mean, I, whatever you want to say, but what what you guys have put together uh, in such a it's so simple, and then it's so powerful. Mm-hmm. And I think that was was what I was amazed by, in how you guys put together these you know the three different style of these apprentice blogs. So if you guys want to kind of just you know touch more on that and and what went into the vision to create that part of of, of what we're doing here with ILM. Well, as far as the design, she could probably talk a little bit about that, but um, it, it was give uh, Vincent a lot of props, uh, the co-founder. He he helped guide a lot of the a lot of the, the vision. He kind of he probably say it better than I could, but he laid it out just his idea, and then she actually made it a reality um, as nice. far as the graphics and design. And then um, with me, uh, with building the blogs, is. When I was building out the platform, um, my vision was see. There's other there's other really great companies out there that that you know they have, they have blogging platforms. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, um, but some of those have a lot of restrictions, and all of them have restrictions. Where we really, I really, really tried to make it as flexible and as powerful as if somebody went out and paid a company three, four, five, six thousand dollars to have their blog built. That was my vision: was to give each of our members unlimited blogs, and one one that was so powerful that they could really be flexible in how they made it look and what they could do. But at the same time, make it simple enough where a novice, somebody that has never blogged before, that's brand new, knows yeah. that you know they know or were told that blogging is you know, essential for an online income. That that they, they didn't know where to even start, that they could step into ILN, get an apprentice blog, watch some of the videos, and get started like right away. So what's really cool is what happens is when they join ILN, they go to create their blog, and they they can create a fully custom blog within just, what, 30 seconds, maybe a couple minutes? A couple minutes, long, you really took a slow. Yeah, how long <laughs> it takes to fill out, what, three questions? Yeah. And, Great blog, and then it takes about 20 seconds, and the and the blog is is built, and then they're able to log right in, and they can post the you know they can write their first blog post right immediately. Um, yeah. So that was really a vision of mine, and, and what's cool is they can do so many cool things like change their background, cover photos. I mean, we're talking about if they if they're a brick and mortar business, they can add their own Google Maps. Um, there's contact, there's a contact form built in. I mean, if you're an SEO guru, uh, we've got SEO tools that are built in for you. I mean, there's online, there's there's traffic statistics. If you use Google Analytics, you can integrate that. I mean, I could probably sit here and go all night and just talk about <laughs> all the features that are involved. I mean, built-in opt-in forms so people can build yeah. a list. Um, That's just sick. That that yeah. first time I saw the the built-in opt-in right at the top, just how it's yep. positioned. So and again. Simple but elegant. You know, it mm-hmm. looks great. But and for those people, for those people that use a third-party service like Aweber or GetResponse, they, um, you know, those integrate into it as well. Yeah. No matter what third-party system you use, it integrates into the opt-in forms as well. Um, I mean, we're talking just all kinds of stuff. And what's really, really awesome, Jason, is that it's like we're just getting started. I mean, oh, that's I, a scary. That's I, a I scary. Have a whiteboard here behind me of. Ideas and things that are actually already in the works. I'm going to capture pages and yeah. uh, what's really cool. And he he was filling me in on a few of his ideas this afternoon, and it's it it blows my mind. I think that he wants to just give to this entire community. It's there is a lot in store for you. So what's guys. what's really cool is a lot of people are out there trying to. Um, you know, they they pay somebody. So let's say they pay somebody two thousand dollars to get their blog good. Mm-hmm. And they go out there and they're blogging, they're blogging, and they're like, you know, I'm not getting any traffic, I'm not, you know, people aren't commenting, they're not doing this, they're not doing that. It's really, really hard, and that's a real yeah. problem that people have. And honestly, when I've built blogs for people, it's it's kind of like, well, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this, you got to do that, and you got to drive people, drive traffic there, and you, gotta, you know, if you want to run ads, all that. And it's it's a lot real hard for a lot of newbies. 
But what we're doing inside of ILN is, and I showed you guys this new member homepage that we're rolling out. Yeah. And a feature that I'm actually going to be working on tonight after this webinar is um, the follow blogs. You'll be able to follow blogs. So, Jason, if you wanted to follow my blog on Internet Lifestyle Network inside of the platform, you can yeah. follow it and, and see live updates as they're happening inside of, inside yeah. of my blog, which would encourage you to go you know, comment and share and syndicate my blog. They, so, they have the interaction. So, yeah. yeah, so my content and everything is going to be put right in your face because you, you're asking for it. So yeah. what happens is, is when we have, you know, when there's you know, 10, 15, 20, 50, 100,000 people inside of the network and all of them are you know, if following each other just like you follow somebody on Facebook. When everybody's following each other, then there's going to be more engagement. There's going to be more eyes that are being that are seeing your blog, which is going to be which is really really powerful. Um, and the syndication, so that's just like one of the new features that it's going to, you know, that's going to be rolling out. And um, that's that's something that I'm excited for because it overcomes that problem of people struggling to get traffic and you get get eyeballs on their blog. Yeah. yeah. Ashley, you got anything? He just he ran his mouth. I, know. I just went on and on. Sorry, I get excited about it. I'm passionate. What can I say? When he hears the word blogging, that's what he does. <laughs> no doubt. Well, I, I got to jump in uh, to give you guys both uh, incredible kudos, props, I mean, whatever you want to throw out there, folks. Uh, I came on board uh, early on when these guys were just, the founder, co founders were just starting to get ready for launch. And I, to be honest, it was a lot of it was on just faith in the people involved, like Clifton and Ashley, because you know I, I I knew them from before, but I didn't. It was funny, like I knew you guys, but I didn't know you guys. But I could, I on faith, like I know the type of people Clifton and Ashley are, and I know, you know, I can see what's going on. And Rhonda Swan is the one that tipped me off about all this craziness, and I'm yeah. like, all right, cool, you know, I'll, I'll keep 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 up. And I, I actually took the leap when you guys were still offering the custom blogs, you know, on the, the launch uh, price range. And I had to scramble like crazy. I actually, I, I, I ordered it like at the midnight deadline, like the <laughs> final night. And because Rhonda kept messaging me, she's like, you get it, you get it, you get it. You, I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm going to figure it out. And so I, I want to give my testimony to my experience with these guys and how they put together my custom blog. And... It, it literally, it was, it was actually very almost unsettling how much uh, both Clifton and Ashley knew exactly what I always wanted in a blog to be my home on the internet, and I didn't even know that's what I wanted. Yeah. And that's what was freaky because, that's what well, I mean, it was crazy because she messaged me like, okay, cool, you know, send me some photos you want to use, give me an idea on kind of like, well, what kind of layout would you like? What about background color? And I pretty much sent Ashley, I think, a total of like three images, a couple for eight, my tag phrase, you know, gratitude is the attitude that gives our dreams altitude. Hey-o! Um, and another one, and then a picture of, of course, a fedora. And I said, hey, you know, kind of like this, you know, this is kind of like the vibe. And, and he was, I gave her so little in information, really. I mean, like, here's some stuff, go do your thing. She puts well, the stuff, huh? Here's the thing, though. I don't just read. I don't just read what you send me or everybody else does. I do some research. Like I go to your Facebook. I want to get personal and see what you really are about. I will oh, read. I will cool. go down through the past year or so on <laughs> your timeline. I will look at all your photos if I'm able to access them and really yeah. get a feel for who you are and what you want to represent. So I don't just, I don't just like I said, read what you send me. I put time and effort into make this as personal as you know as I possibly can for you because I know this is a big deal for all my clients and I want them to have that wow factor when I send them a preview. And me well, myself, well, I'll do a couple different designs before I even send you anything. And when yeah. I get, it, I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, this is it. This is this, this is, is the one I want to send them. I think they're gonna love this one, and I'll send it. And you know, like I said, it's I just try to I just try to dig down really, really deep and give my clients everything I possibly can. And, I, well, and you were somebody in particular I knew <laughs> as 
were very, very special to you. Yeah, that's a little bit. I asked Clifton, I said, can we do some custom coding for him? We have to do this. Yeah, that, was like, that, that was ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> that was the capper. I mean, because, guys, what they did is that there's a picture of my blue fedora. They took Clifton took that image, and on the, the top base part of the blog, on the one side, he's got the fedora like hanging off the side like it's a hat rack. So he wrote special code to get that done. And to go back to what you're talking about, Ashley, when you sent me the first preview image, like I get the email, I'm like, all right, cool, let me check it out. And I pop it up, and I'm just like, I mean, it almost brought me to tears because I'm like, how did she know that's what I wanted to represent? Like even the color and like the little tiny the little white stars, right. you know, coming down from the sky. I, like, I didn't even tell you that. I didn't say, like, oh, that would be kind of cool to have that behind me going like this. And then it's just, I mean, all I did was I think I sent Ashley one revision. I said, can we do a different font on the one quote? Other than that, we're golden. Like, boom, done. Like, wow. And uh, I, I've showed it to friends and when it was just the preview. And they were just like, that's, that's what you're going to have? I mean, they were literally, and these weren't people that don't know how to, you know, they don't have any experience with the techie part or anything like that. They're just going off emotional reaction to how it was put together. And and that's that's probably one of the biggest things everybody out here who's getting a chance to watch this um, is tonight or on the recording is I love these two people so much and I've only known them, you know, as friends for since June. And I've only hung out with them in person you know, for one you know, one weekend and there's a big difference in how they approach. That's why I call them tech sexy, um, because <laughs> they're they're putting an emotional content into how they they do a graphic or how Clifton puts in code. I mean, the both of them are thinking so on so on a deep level for everyone that's going to come to them for their first blog or they're, they're getting involved in ILN and they get that apprentice blog and it, it just it's it's so awe-inspiring to see that much heart put into t really a bunch of ones and zeros yeah. and that's what just it, it makes me smile it cracks me up and I just I count, I know I count myself so grateful to call you guys friends family business partners you know creative souls and I know that everyone you know, in, in ILN, in, in the family, it definitely feels the same way. And, and just I want you both to know tonight that it, it could never be said enough, you know, how much you guys put in on every single day, every single night, hanging out with, you know, hanging us, you know, us hanging out tonight even, uh, the amount of effort and just commitment and just devotion, it's, it's what I, I, I know I was part of what I was attracted to with this community, and uh, I, like you said, Clifton, we're just getting started. Yeah. And thank you so much. Part. We appreciate that. We love you, and we adore you, and we appreciate you so much, Jason. Uh, it's 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 the it's 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 reasons like that, and the the uh, the passion and the commitment that mm -hmm. is involved with everybody inside of ILN is it was is what brings it out of us, and what is what brings it out in events. It's, you know, it brings it out in yeah. markets. It's, it doesn't matter, you know, who you are. It's just everybody inside that's involved with Island. It's in, involved in the community. It's just, it's that passion right there that you're talking about. Um, yeah. and, you, and, you know, that brings it out in us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hats off to you, too. I mean, it's, uh, you know, if, if, we, if everybody inside the community, yeah, hats off. You know, if everybody inside the community, you know, really didn't care, they didn't give a hoot, then... Yeah. Well, you know what? What would be what would be drawing? You know, it, nobody. It wouldn't be drawing it out of us. Is what I'm trying yeah. to say. So it's it's actually the the commitment and the passion and the you know the excitement and the love that's inside of the community that just just keeps pouring it and pouring it out of us. So yeah. Well, like I said, that, that's why I want to kind of do something a little different. And I really appreciate you know tonight with this hangout is you know it's really easy to talk about the technical you know behind what you guys have created and continue to create. But I want to show people, you know, the, the what I feel is the backbone and, and the foundation, you know, of what you guys do, 
uh, on a daily basis and what you continue to create with that crazy whiteboard behind you. Um, that that's that's scary to me. Like whatever. Else, I mean, I don't know. You've knocked it out the park already, so I'm like, I don't know what's what's coming next. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff. He's got lots in store for you. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff. So a lot of stuff's going to come out, you know, at the different times and everything. But um, yeah, a lot of really cool stuff's happening real soon. Cooler, even cooler stuff. New cooler. It's the new cool. It's it's the yeah, new tech sex. It's tech sexy 2.0. There you go. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Well, guys. Um, is there anything last things you'd like to share? Uh, I know you guys, it's, it's a little bit late there. You got the kiddos to bed, and I know either you got more work to do or you want to crash. So, anything last thing you want to share with the with everybody out there? We just, you know, we we do this for you guys. We love you guys, and we want to see everybody succeed. Um, something I wanted to, I noticed the other day when we kind of touched base earlier about our vision for the company. Yeah. Somebody I want to give a shout out to is Ashley Logo in Moku. I don't know if you saw, but Ashley just so far with Jaren hit seven thousand this yeah. month. In Moku five. Yeah. That kind of income is life changing, and that kind of those kind of results is exactly what we want to see. We want to change lives. I mean, well, what's I was, really yeah, what's really amazing is 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 stuff like that doesn't happen overnight. Um, you know, these, these those two uh, have so much heart, and they've been consistent. You know, mm-hmm. months on end. I mean, they've they've really been there since the beginning, and um, you know, and they've tried other things from what I from what I know. But you know, they've always been consistent, and mm-hmm. it's like it's 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 really with anything else. If somebody tries something, and then you know, they try it for two three weeks, they don't see anything, and they bounce. They're like, ah, mm-hmm. yeah, not for me, or it doesn't work, or whatever. But what happens is. Those who are consistent, that never give up, that are always working to improve on what they did yesterday, then those are the ones that are, are going to see the success. I mean, um, and that's what brings us so much joy and happiness. Like I was just, I couldn't stop smiling when I saw that big <laughs> post of that in the group. Just like that's that's why we're doing this. We are we are literally changing lives. It's, yeah. I can't even describe that feeling. It's oh oh, we live for it. So, and with the vision, you know, um, Island is so brand new. I mean, we're, mm-hmm. we're babies right now <laughs> yeah. as, far as, as far as time goes and as far as what's happening. However, with the, the knowledge and the system that's built, I feel like we're old wise men. You know, I mean, we've got it. We, we mean, we're, it's the wisdom and the knowledge and everything that's actually inside of the company is, is, is can't be matched. Um, no matter where you look or where you go or who you talk to, and then the system alone as well is so out of this world. It's powerful. You can build these, you know, these custom websites in just seconds. So, in the community, I don't think you could possibly have a better community. Like you were saying, everybody's awesome. parts they're just so huge and that's so attractive to everybody outside of ILN. I yeah. think that the key factor in ILN is we are compassionate, we are true, we are honest, and we love one another. Like we are really, really genuine. And I think that's so, so important. And I think, you know, that's what that's what Island has gone from. Our community is just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And as we grow, um, as we grow, we get into the, you know, get into the hundreds of thousands of members. It's 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 what we're really hoping for is and what we're planning on is that Smaller communities are going to break out, or, or you know, are not going to break out, but they're going to form inside of ILN and keep yeah. it. Because you know, once you start talking about a hundred thousand people, it's going to be difficult to keep that same love and same family across. Oh, yeah. It will be there, and it will always be there. But what I what I foresee happening is whoop. Oh no. Oh, Clifton, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, I lost your audio. Can you hear me at all? 
We lost we lost you on that last part. Uh oh. <laughs> oh technology. Well just like like smile a lot and, and do stuff like this, I guess. <laughs> Oh, uh, that, I guess that's our cue, guys, and Ashley's getting her groove on. Uh, sorry, folks, I don't know what happened with the, the sound on their end. That's technology. We roll with it. Uh, Clifton, Ashley, big shout-outs, kudos, props, love. Uh, and just, I mean, look how they're dealing with this crazy situation as we end up the broadcast. Nothing but love for you guys. <laughs> He's breaking it out. See, apparently this is why the audio cut out for these guys that got to, you know, get their groove on. I don't know what Clifton was doing there. That, that's that's his groove, I guess. But, you know, hey, I love you guys. If, if <laughs> you got to get get on board, look at that. We got, we got everything going on. I love you guys so much. Uh, I know our community loves you guys. Um that's a wrap for tonight. Uh, hopefully the recording goes well because this is so much fun, and I appreciate you both so much, and uh, there's so much in store for all of us, and anybody, please reach out to us. Reach out to me at jasonleeguard.com. Join this family, and you can have this much fun on a Thursday night with, with no audio uh, on one end of a call. So with that, guys, boom!